Hi, my name is Raphael. I'm a registered osteopath in France and in the UK, and I'm a research affiliate with the AT Steel Research Institute in Kirksville, Missouri. My research interests reflect two concerns, evidence-informed practice and culturally sensitive care in a Western healthcare environment. Hello, I'm Francesca Baroni. I'm an osteopath with experience in the clinical, academic and research worlds. My area of interest is to promote osteopathic care considering both osteopathic traditional principle and the best available evidence to better address patient needs by manipulative and osteopathic active approaches. Hi everybody, my name is Christian Lunghi. I work as an osteopath in clinical educational and research fields. One of my interests is the reconceptualization of osteopathic traditional principles thanks to evidence-informed strategies, person-centered care tenets, and medical humanities in order to promote a more comprehensive osteopathic care made by both interprofessional strategies we have in common with other professionals and with distinctive osteopathic approaches to better manage contemporary patient health needs and to improve the quality of health services. Our newly released commentary highlights the importance of applying an integrative mindline incorporating both the disease-centered biomedical perspective, such as the interprofessional knowledge and best practice for patient-specific clinical context with illness-based patient experiences and practitioner culturally sensitive approaches grounded on traditional principles to finally promote a more person-centered osteopathic distinctive care. Our commentary presents a complexity science tool to better explore the patient perspective for seeking osteopathic care and the subsequent nature of the therapeutic alliance. The implementation of the Canadian framework help both the practitioner and the patient to consider non-symptom-oriented scenarios in the complex, chaotic and confused domain, as well as consider symptom-oriented scenarios in the simple and complicated domain to guide osteopathic care. The aim of our commentary was to address two important questions for clinicians. First, are historical osteopathic principles and Western biomedical evidence both integrable into contemporary, evidence-informed and culturally sensitive person-centered care? Second, is there any available framework to guide osteopathic practitioners to provide such inclusive approaches? We are here introducing a missing anthropological perspective on those historical osteopathic principles to facilitate this professional discussion and evaluate its relevance in contemporary care. Thank you very much, Francesca, Christian and David. It has been a real pleasure to collaborate with you around those thought-provoking topics. We are now looking forward to getting feedback from readers.